in this video I'm going to do four examples on calculating percent of a given quantity so this is the fourth in the series so this question we want to calculate 35 percent of 160 in this video I'm going to show you different ways of calculating percent and then how to do it on a calculator so one way is to think in terms of 10%, start from 10% and work from there, okay? So that's one approach that I have done in my previous video, so I'm going to continue with that. So 10% as by now you should be knowing, 10% is one-tenth of the given quantity. So 10% is one-tenth of 160, which is 16 kgs. So we want to find 35%, so to say it would be better if we can write 5% now. So 5% is half of 10%. It's all about logic. So you know 10% is 16, so 5% is half of 10%. So you're thinking what is half of 16? So you should know that is 8 kg. Okay, so this is 15 percent. Okay, so let me rewrite. So 10 percent, 10 percent I know is 16 kgs. So what is 20 percent? So 20 percent is, <coughs> excuse me, if 10 percent is 16 kg, 20 percent is double of 10 percent so that is 32 kgs so this tells me from 10 percent and 20 percent i can write 30 percent is adding this to that is 48 kgs so we are almost there so we now we now know 30 percent is 48 so what is five percent so five percent we already written as 8 kg We'll check this answer in a different way. It's always fun. What I do is, I generally, when I'm driving, when I see a number plate, I look at the number and try to do some percentage examples. That's how I do my practice. So you can make your own practice. When you see a number, try to find some percent of that number. Because on one particular day, your target percent maybe 35 percent find 35 percent of whatever number that you see if you enjoy numbers so this is 56 kgs is my answer in one way i'm going to shoot uh, do this in a different way with a different color let me use a different color okay so same thickness and different color okay so now different approach okay i'm saying no I want to find 35%, so I'll start from 100%. So what is 100% of 160? So 100% 100 of 160 kg would be, I'm not writing the kgs now, we'll write kgs in the end. So 100% is, 160 kg is 160. So what is 50%? 50% would be half of this, which is 80. So what is 25%? 25% is again half of 50%, which is 40. Okay, and 10%, 10% is one tenth of this, which is 16. So if you cross this out, you're looking at this. So 35% is 25% plus 10%, which is 56 kgs that's the answer so in both ways we got the same answer okay now how to do this on a calculator if you have a calculator and if the question is 35 percent of 160 kg now whenever you have the word 35 percent you should know this is 35 out of 
and 35 out of 100 is 0 0.34 now as I have shown you in previous videos when you're dividing by 100 the decimal point is sitting here okay and you've got a zero here both these zeros are called placeholders so the decimal point will move two places to the left okay so this decimal point and then this will disappear so that's how you can explain this in different ways but this is i believe an efficient way of understanding or you can use a calculator uh let me go to calculator menu run so 35 out of that is divided by 100 is 0 0.35 okay so this means if you want to find 35 percent whenever you have the word 35 percent or the number 35 percent you should be in a position to see this this and this are the same 35 percent or 0 0.35 are the same thing same thing so this can be written as 0 0.35 times 160 now you may ask where did I get times times is whenever you have the word off it is times okay I don't like to explain that way but I'll show you suppose what is half of 50 okay which is uh, you can multiply this is half times 50 and half is half is 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 times 50 so off you can take as times and that is 25 okay you can if you are you can't do it 0.5 times 50 so half times 50 is 25 so using the same approach, I've used my calculator now. So this is my calculator, my simple calculator. That is 0 0.35 times 160. 0 0.35 stands for the percent, 35 percent. So that is 56. So we have confirmed our answer. The answer is 56 kg. You can also think in different ways. Okay. As you play with these numbers, you will learn more and more. Okay, it's all about practice. How well you can think proportionally. Okay, so a successful person, an intelligent person, is a person who is able to think in a proportional manner. Okay, so let us look at this question. Find 99% of 600. <clears throat> so here, uh, let us start with. Uh, say 10 percent so 10 percent again is same one tenth is 60 okay, I'm not writing student 10 percent is 60 so I'm thinking what is 9 percent oh, sorry what is 90 percent so 90 percent is 10 percent is 60 90 percent would be nine times of this so this is 60 times 9 you should know the times table which is 6 times 9 is 54 and then you put a 0 okay then you've got a uh, you want to find 9% okay so I think um, you can do in different ways so 10% is um, so this can be done okay so let me do the long way okay so one percent this implies one percent would be one percent is one tenth of this so one percent is six students and from this i can say nine percent is nine times of this number so that is six times nine which is nine times six is 54 so this is my nine person I'll show you a better way like than this okay so nine percent I know is 54 so adding this to so 99 percent would be adding this to 
which is 495, that is 594 tourists. That's nothing wrong here, just in a different way. So, a more efficient way to get 99% is to go from 100%. Okay, so let me rewrite. So, the question is 99%. So, first find 100%. 100% of anything is that thing. So, that is 600. Then, what is 1%? 1% 1 is 100th of this. So you go 600 divided by 100, which is 6. That's 1%. So you go 6. Now tell me, what should I do with these? Should I add or take away? I want to find 99%. So I will find 99%. So if you take away here, you would also take away here. So that would give me... 600, take away 6, you should know is 594 students. Okay. I'll continue this in the next video.